It's possible to write your own proof to try to prove some kind of idea. Perhaps you've observed some type of pattern and you want to see if it works all the time. Maybe you're doing a true-false question. You think it's a true statement, but you want to verify that it's really true all the time. You can actually design your own proof to prove these statements. For example, the statement that corresponding medians of congruent triangles are congruent. We have a concept that says the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. However, the intention there is not that any of their corresponding parts are congruent, or at least we haven't looked at that concept yet. We've really only looked at the idea that the corresponding sides are congruent and that the corresponding angles are congruent. So the question is, are other parts that correspond to each other also congruent? Are corresponding altitudes congruent? Are corresponding medians congruent? Well, we're going to show one of those examples in this case. So if I'm going to write my own proof, I need to provide a given and a proof and a diagram. Notice this talks about corresponding medians of congruent triangles. So the first thing I need are congruent triangles. And you'll notice I'm not going to make these triangles look like they're equilateral. I'm not going to make them look like they're isosceles or that they're right triangles because I want to make sure that I don't make any kinds of assumptions about triangles that don't apply to certain types of triangles. So I'm not going to give a special case here. I'm going to give kind of a generic scaling set of congruent triangles. So here are my two triangles. While I'm looking loosely congruent, I'll name one triangle ABC. I'll name one triangle XYZ. And notice it talks about corresponding medians. So I'm going to put those medians into both of these triangles. I'll call this M. I'll call that the second point N. And I need to write my own given and proof statement. So my given is that those two triangles are congruent. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. Also, it says I have corresponding medians. So I'm going to say that BM and YN are medians. I also need a prove statement. I want to prove that those medians are congruent. So I'm going to prove that BM is congruent to YN. And now I'll set up my two column proof. I have my givens, ABC congruent to XYZ. I also have BM and YN as medians. And now I can start proving things congruent here. My approach is going to be pretty straightforward. I need to prove that these medians are congruent to each other. Most of the time that I've proved segments congruent, I've done it with congruent triangles. And I'm going to do that here as well. So I already know that the original triangles are congruent, but you'll notice that these aren't sides of the two triangles that are congruent. So I need to pick two triangles that include BM and YN as sides. It doesn't matter. I could pick the two left side triangles, or I could pick the two right side triangles. In my case, I'm going to pick the two triangles on the right, but it really does not matter. So I'm going to prove this triangle congruent to this triangle. And the key is I need three pairs of corresponding parts so I can use one of my theorems uh, or postulates, either side, 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 angle, side, or angle, side, angle. So the first thing here, uh, I know that these two sides are going to be congruent, okay? BC is congruent to YZ, and that, of course, is that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. An additional fact, I know that angle C is going to be congruent to angle Z. So I'm going to put that in there as well. It's the same reason, so I'll just put quotes there. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And finally, I've got a problem. This side isn't part of the triangle, uh, the two triangles I'm trying to prove congruent. Uh, this lower side here goes beyond the edge of the two triangles that I'm trying to prove congruent. Uh, this angle is not involved. This angle up here is split. Okay? The only thing that I'm going to be able to do is to use the definition of median. A median goes to the midpoint 
of the side to which it's drawn. It's going to divide it into two congruent parts. And what I'm going to be able to do here then is to state that this whole side is congruent to that whole side for the same reason. So AC is congruent to XZ. And again, that's because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. The median goes to the midpoint of a side. What I have here is two congruent sides both being split in half. Halves of congruent holes are also going to be congruent. So what do I do to my holes to get halves? I divide both by two. That's an example of the division property. So I'm going to state that segment MC is congruent to segment MZ. That's by the division property. Now I can prove my two triangles congruent by side angle side. So triangle BMC is congruent to triangle YNZ by side angle side. And the last thing, I need to show that those medians are congruent. In this case, BM is congruent to YN, and that's because they are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. And now, I've proved the original statement. Corresponding medians of congruent triangles are congruent. And if I want to, that's a theorem that I can use in any proof in the future.